All right, what is going on guys? My name is James or Jibberty Games coming at you with a very exciting video because just an hour ago we witnessed the community reveal for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And this reveal was absolutely insane. It had everything in it. We got a little bit of multiplayer, a little bit of zombies, and a little bit of the new mode Blackout, which is Call of Duty's take on Battle Royale. So in this video, I'm going to kind of sum up everything for you guys and just give you a brief overview of anything that you missed if you were not able to watch the reveal. Anyways, guys, let's get right into the video without further ado. So real quick before we get into the video, the background gameplay you are seeing is actually the multiplayer trailer for Black Ops 4 that was revealed during this community reveal. So if you want to check that out along with the zombies trailers, uh, the blackout trailer, I will drop that all in the description. But this video, it's going to be a very brief overview of kind of everything that we learned from this reveal. I'm not going to go too in depth on one game mode over another. Uh, I might do separate videos on maybe blackout or zombies or multiplayer even. But this is just going to kind of be a brief video of all of the game modes combined and everything that we learned. Let's get right into it. So starting off with in the order that these uh, trailers were released in, we're going to talk about multiplayer. So first things first, the setting is sometime between BO2 and BO3. So uh, not too far into the future, which I think is a very good thing for this series. I don't think going farther into the future was the answer. And I think Treyarch knew that and were able to capitalize on it. The next thing is... As you can probably tell, a lot of these things are going to be pointed out in the gameplay, but specialists are returning. Some new, some old, and uh, I'm very excited. It looked like the ones that are coming back from Black Ops 3 have been revamped and uh, have cooler abilities than they did in Black Ops 3, and we're also getting new and different specialists that we'll be able to play with inside of Black Ops 4. Another thing pretty clear is boots on the ground, no exosuits, no wall runs, none of that, no thrust jump, 100% boots on the ground. I'm very excited for that also. Just a quick thing to throw in there because I think there is a little bit of conspiracy about that. Without worry, we're going to be boots on the ground. Another mechanic that they introduced that was really cool is called guns up, where your gun will always stay aimed or uh, at least uh, up, ready to fire, regardless of whether you're throwing grenades, if you're mantling over something, using equipment, which is really cool. And I think it, uh, they added that and they said that that should uh, speed up the gameplay and not, you know, what they lose with exosuits and that kind of speed of the gameplay, they speed up by adding back this guns up idea. So along with these other movement mechanics, uh, Treyarch has implemented that many guns are actually more unique now that guns have specific attachments that are unique to just them not even the class of weapons but just unique to the weapon itself another big addition that is a change from other games is the healing system healing is no longer automatic in this game which i think is a very interesting idea because it's something players really take for granted but now you actually heal yourself with i believe uh, what is an unlimited amount of these little heal packs, but they take a second or two to apply So it's almost that essential thing like reloading and you can see it in the background uh, Trailer right now that this person will kind of inject something into their arm That is them healing up and if you look in the lower left corner You'll see their health go back up But it's just a different part that they've added the game to make you think differently about how you fight people whether you're rushing in and then you maybe have to take that second to reheal, and it just adds a whole new aspect of the game that I'm really excited to see how that plays out. Another massive update to the shooting is actually true predictive recoil. So every gun has what I'm assuming is a predictable recoil pattern, meaning that when you shoot it, it will kick back the same way every single time. And now this is different for every single gun. So you'll have to master the recoil pattern with a specific gun to be, you know, an expert with it, which I think is cool and makes you have to play the game a tiny bit differently with every single gun. And I think that's cool because it adds to the replayability, which Treyarch emphasized a lot in this community reveal. A few last things before we wrap up this multiplayer section of the video is situational awareness, another thing that Treyarch emphasized a lot in this uh, community reveal, meaning that your footsteps will make different sounds based on what you're stepping on. And the new minimap system they call Fog of War, where you only see a small fraction of the minimap where you are, which is highlighted, but then through UAVs or other specialist abilities, you can see more of the map. And another thing, Real quick, sliding has returned. You can see in the gameplay here and there, they, they throw it in. So no dolphin dive, unfortunately, but I think the slide mechanic has worked really well in Black Ops 3, and I think it'll continue to be a, a good addition to Black Ops 4. That's going to do it for the multiplayer section, so we'll move on to the next thing that was revealed, zombies. 
So moving on to zombies, the next thing that was revealed in this trailer, we have a lot of very exciting information. The first thing is, and you can see from this trailer in the background, which is the trailer for the map 9, one of the on-disc maps for zombies in Black Ops 4, that we have a whole new set of characters in a whole new universe. Treyarch referred to this as starting fresh, and it's completely independent from what we have seen in the previous Black Ops games and those zombies experiences. It's a very medieval setting, I feel like, that has uh, the alchemy and all of that science is very uh, integrated into this trailer. You can see, especially once it gets into it, they're using these artifacts that have special powers, and that's a very different approach, I feel like, to Black Ops 3 and other Zombies games that we've seen in the past. So I'm interested to see where they go with this whole almost making things more realistic, I guess, in a sense. We'll just have to see where they go with Zombies. So one big thing that Jason Blundell uh, put a lot of emphasis on when he revealed the Zombies portion of uh, the community reveal was making this game very replayable. And they've done that through adding what's called custom mutations, which is over 100 different options on customizing your game a little bit each time to make your gameplay experience unique. I'm really excited to see where this uh, where this goes because I think it can add, uh, first of all, a level of change to every single Zombies game. You want to see how changing your health would affect things. You can do that. You can change the zombie speed. And he goes on and on describing all of these things that you can do to customize every single game of Zombies. Another thing that they're adding is limited time challenges, which I think they kind of missed out on in Black Ops 3 as a big opportunity. It will allow players to compete in different challenges, like it says, limited time challenges so i'm really really looking forward to see what they do with that and uh how they incorporate it into zombies another massive addition to this is bot support so if you don't have friends online to play zombies with and you feel like having more than just yourself and you don't want to miss out on that co-op experience you can actually play zombies with bots now and it sounds really cool I'm waiting to see how this is implemented because you might end up with bots that are absolutely trash or something, so I'm not exactly sure how they're going to implement this into Black Ops 4 Zombies. Another thing that is coming back from previous games is the difficulty level. This makes it a lot more user friendly for people who may just be picking up zombies for the first time, or more challenging to the players who have been here forever since the beginning of the Black Ops series over 10 years ago, which is absolutely insane. But probably the biggest reveal of all is there will be not one not two, but three on-disc zombies experiences for this game, which is unheard of in the Black Ops era. Absolutely insane. So we'll be seeing nine, which is the trailer you're seeing right behind me uh, in the gameplay now. There's another map called Voyage of Despair, which is almost like a Titanic setting, which is seems to me kind of like a giant zombie, similar to that, but I'll get into that in another video. And Blood of the Dead, a Mob of the Dead remake, which is going to be absolutely awesome to play. I'm so excited. But now we will move on to probably the biggest surprise of this reveal, the mode Blackout. Now, probably the game mode with the most mystery surrounding it is Call of Duty Black Ops 4's new game mode, Blackout, their take on Battle Royale. And though I was kind of, uh, you know, skeptical of Battle Royale in Call of Duty, uh, seeing this trailer, I have a lot higher hopes for what it may be. And uh, it looks like they're actually going to take on Battle Royale in a rather unique perspective from a, a, you know, Call of Duty standpoint with their own touch on everything, which I'm really excited to see. And I think it'll switch up the dynamic from other games like Fortnite, PUBG, H1Z1, and have Treyarch's own Battle Royale. So the biggest thing is we will be having our favorite characters, favorite maps, favorite weapons from a Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, and having them all combined into one crazy, massive map that is Blackout. So I'm assuming the characters, you'll have to buy them and there'll be a whole microtransaction thing. Once again, that can be for another video, but that is uh, some of the biggest things of Blackout. But another exciting thing is for the Zombies fans out there, they're including Zombies characters. And if you look closely in this trailer, you can see towards the end, there's two sets of people on ATVs and they're actually the Black Ops 3 Zombies crew, Rick Toffin, Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takio. But with this edition of Blackout, we actually have no traditional campaign. Uh, one thing that they emphasize, though, is that they're going to have a lot more narrative within, you know, the multiplayer and have these special missions that you can do as different specialists to learn their backstories and how they play. And I think that's their supplement for, uh, you know, getting a backstory. But it turns out Black Ops 4 will have no campaign like a lot of people were saying. And quickly before we wrap up the video here, they did have mention of a private beta, though they did not state when it will be. There is a uh, confirmed a private beta for this game, and I will make an update video for sure when we know that date. I am so excited 
October cannot come fast enough. Oh my goodness, Black Ops 4 is going to be insane. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, if you're hyped for Black Ops 4, smash that like button, please. It helps the video get out to more people, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. We're on that road to 250 subscribers. I'm pretty sure we can hit it pretty soon. With all this hype around Black Ops 4, oh, um, I, I keep saying I'm so excited, but I just don't know what else to say. This game looks really, really good, and uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. So thank you all so very much for watching. It's been me, James, or Jabberty Games. I will see you all very, very soon. Peace out. Okay.